Leslie has got some lovely food here to share with your mates, haven't you? This is really great for the mates because you can do it all in the oven. You haven't got anything boiling away on the top. And it's a kind of modern version of a chilli with sort of crispy skins. I know you like your potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Let's start off. I like off. hot Just... things as well. I think I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, and then you can actually, you can serve, what you cook this in, you can serve it in. So it saves on the washing up and all Perfect. that. Chat. So let's start off with the potatoes. Nice big potatoes. Leave the skins on. Give them a good wash. Cut them in half. I'm just going to do two here. Preheat your oven to gas smart six and then use the tip of the knife and just cut in to the flesh yes. of those potatoes mm. like that, yeah? Once you've done that, you can then get some rock salt mm. and some black pepper and some olive oil. And you want to get really physical with your potatoes here. You want to put yeah, them onto there. Physical with your potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take some olive oil, just drizzle it over like that. And then what you want to do is just take a little bit of your rock salt, like that, mm. and black pepper, and then really rub it into the skins. Mm. Rub it really big. See, quiet. the way I do that, Leslie, is I put it on the cutting board and then rub the potato into it. <laughs> That's very good. So the way I do it, the oh, reverse I procedure. Yeah. I just Does that say a lot about our personalities? Yeah, just passing a tip on. <laughs> yeah, he's a liar. He's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you stick those in the oven for about an hour. Okay. Will they be quicker than a normal baked potato because you cut them in half? Absolutely, and cutting the flesh as well will help to speed up and okay. make them go really nice and golden. Let's move on to the chilli, which you would normally cook on top in a mm. big pot. Okay, we're not going to do that. Same oven temperature, roast off your onions, peppers, throw your garlic in, but don't crush it. Keep it whole. In the skins? In the skins, chuck it in. Um, and then what you want to do is just to take Put, uh, put that in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Mm. You can see it's just slightly cooked. Take it out, and then what you want to do is to take some fresh tomatoes mm -hmm. rather than your cans, cut them in half, sprinkle them over, and also some of these babies, I call these the jewels. They're those sort of sun dried. Yeah. yeah, and they're really intense. And then That just adds to the flavour, a bit more tomato flavour. Gives a bit more tomato. A pinch of salt, sugar, and then your chilli. And we're using dried chilli here, not fresh. And why the sugar? The sugar will sort of intensify the flavour of the tomatoes, OK? And make them go caramelised, and then just do that all over. Stick it back in the oven, and Eamon, can you do me a favour? There's a tray yes. of tomatoes. Do you know where the oven is, darling? <laughs> that oh, one. Mark. Yeah, that Mark. one. When I swap you for someone else, I tell you, you'll not be mocking me. There's a tray of tomatoes there. Can you get those out for us? Now, these have been the red ones. for about... Yeah, it's the red ones. There. The red That's things. <laughs> these have been in for probably um, about 15 to 20 minutes. What are you roasting? doing? It's too hot. Oh, babe. What a wuss. Oh, it is actually quite it is. hot. There you go. <laughs> don't, don't pander to him. It's not that hot. All right, so next thing you're going to do is tomato passata. Give that a stir for me, Eamon. Take that stir what? and stir that. That's so much. You're very demanding, oh, you I are. Am. I like to be demanding. <laughs> do you know, we used to cook 25 years ago, <laughs> and there was a sub, it was for the Open University or something, <laughs> and there was an item, it was called Educating Eamon, and you had to teach me to cook. Didn't I had work. To learn, I had to learn a skill every week. Yeah. It didn't work. Well. Okay, well, we need some more lessons. Yeah. Okay, we need more lessons. All right, Sorry. okay, so tomato passata, kidney beans go in, and then you want to make up your meatballs. So this is great, actually, if you've got a vegetarian, you can actually cook the meatballs separately. And all this is is just some onion, breadcrumbs, and a beaten egg and some meat. Stick your hands and mix pork? that together. You could use pork, beef, or um, lamb if you mm. wanted to. Wet your hands and then make your little balls. Eels. And then just stick those on top. So you don't have to flour them or anything? You don't have no. to flour them, but the trick is wet hands yeah. and then little balls like that. OK? On the top. So Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> the things you learn on this show. If I get into enough trouble, I'm saying nothing. No, don't. I think that's very wise. <laughs> So, yeah, absolutely, you can use pork or, or lamb. But once again, if you wanted to, you could just put these meatballs on a separate roasting tin and roast them separately. So if you've got people that aren't eating meat, like my daughter, who's decided... See, that, I would always think as well, is that going to brown? Because I'm, you know, I like yeah. browned meat. Yeah, will that brown sitting on It will. That? It will brown sitting on the top because let's just get some out there and I'll just show you. You put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, quite a high temperature, actually, because it's Gas Smart 6. Oh, no, I felt so it. I know. I felt it, you did, didn't you, <laughs> darling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but about a minute, Leslie. For about 
20 minutes. OK, that's fine. Or if fine. you were short of time, could you stick it all in the microwave? No. 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 OK. All right, so <laughs> let's move this out of the way. And look, I just want to show you this. Oh, look how it turns out. Which is looking really, really great. I'm just going to place that onto here. Just to show you, you can see they're really, really yeah. good and brown. I love the idea of that dish. You bake it all in and go straight to the table. Absolutely. Lovely. Yeah. You can then just take your chilli like that. It's a very friendly sort of meal. A very it's my kind of dinner. It's really yeah. nice, this, because normally with chilli, it's quite sloppy. Mm. And this is kind of chunky and rich. That's mm. a very big portion. Yes, that's my husband's <laughs> portion. <laughs> Pile that onto the dish, a little bit of coriander, and then you've got these crispy... Oh, they're hot. Super. Potatoes, which you can put with some sour cream and mm. chives. Pile them all. Well, listen, you can come to my house and watch yeah. X Factor on Saturday if you're going to cook this. No one's going to turn that. We should get Eamon to cook it. Yeah, we get Eamon to cook it. We'll sit with our feet out of the glass of wine. Just, I just want one Saturday off. If there's just one Saturday, that's all I want. <laughs> that I don't have to do the cooking and cleaning and everything. But that's very good. Superb, superb. Looks really, really good. And that's a nice hearty winter. It is. And what's nice is you can just do it all in the oven. Yeah. Not, you know, you're really maximising the use of your oven, yeah. which is great. Well, we Lovely. call it Leslie's chunky chili. Uh, with potato on the side. Uh, thank you very much. And the dip is what? The dip is? Sour, Sour cream, cream and chives. And don't forget the recipe on the website. Good? Mm. Good. Mm.